Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, those who are new on my channel, let me introduce myself. I am Lakshan, I am a commercial pilot. Before moving on to the topic, I request you to please like, comment and subscribe as it motivates me to make more videos. Today's topic is DGCA conversion exam. So today we will be covering everything related to conversion exam. Like how to study for your exams and when is the right time to write your exam before going to abroad or after coming. So now let's get started. And also make sure to watch our entire video for a clear understanding as today I am going to answer so many questions throughout the video. So without wasting time, now let's get started. Let's talk about Indian DGCA conversion exams, how to study for them, which books to use for them and everything about your exam. Now let's talk about when it is the right time to write your exams, before going to foreign or after coming from foreign. In my point of view, you must write your exams before going to foreign. As after coming back, you only have 6 months. So in 6 months, you have to take RTR, bhi lena hoga, FRTR bhi lena hoga, exams. Bhi lena hoga. So exams basically are 3 of NAV, MET or Regulation. In case you have to wait for 3 months, then you have to wait for 3 months. So in total, you have to wait for 6 months. So you have to wait for your recency. So if you have to wait for recency, you have to wait for 10 to 12 hours. So you have to wait for a lot of money. That's why I will suggest you to write your exam before going to foreign, as well as get your medical also. If you want to check out how to convert your foreign license into Indian DGCA license, I have another video. I will put the link in the description box below, or you can see above somewhere. As I told you earlier, for conversion of your license, you have to write three exams, MET, NAV and REGS. Now let's start with MET. MET is the most easy exam of DGCA. IC Joshi and Oxford Padke can clear it easily. But it doesn't matter to clear it, but it matters to knowledge. Because the plane can be able to fly without a motor, but without knowledge and skills. For example, you can operate a glider without a motor. But you can't fly without a skills and without knowledge. So I recommend you that you need to take a coaching and you need to be a knowledgeable pilot. तभी टेक्नोलॉजी ने अभी तक पायलट को ओवरटेक नहीं किया अदरवाइज टेक्नोलॉजी से ही प्लेन सुन रहे होते पायलट की कॉकपिट में कोई जगह नहीं होती तो बी आर नॉलेजेबल पायलट अगर आपको फिर भी लगता है कि आप खुद से पढ़ सकते हो गूगल की हेल्प से या यूट्यूब की हेल्प से तो आई रिकमेंड यू कि आप आईसी जोशी और ऑक्सफर्ड से पढ़ो और सारे क्वेश्चन थॉरली करो एक एक चीज समझो यूट्यूब पे अपने कॉन्टेंट को सर्च करो उसके अकॉर्डिंग आप स्टडी करो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अनदर सब्जेक्ट and also I put the link of each and every book in the description box below. So now let's talk about navigation. Navigation is further divided into three parts: instrument, radio aids, and general navigation. So in these three, you can use Oxford and Keith Williams to refer to it. And if you read these two books properly and understand this, you will get your exam. You will easily crack it. And make sure to do each and every question from the book. At last, now let's talk about regulation. For regulation, do R.K. Bali, that is more than enough and also make sure not to skip human performance questions. That is also very important. Do all the questions from the board and definitely you will pass. So now let's talk about how you can clear all three of them in first attempt. So basically, for NAV, you have to ask Oxford and Keith Williams to ask all the questions at least three times and check that you are standing there. And after doing all the questions from the board, do test paper from Oxford. So you will easily find out how much you score or how much you are standing up. For MET, you can do IC Joshi and Oxford, that is more than enough. You will pass the first attempt. And you will pass the RK Valley for the regulations. And please, for the regulations, don't skip the human performance questions. Those questions are also very important. And in the last tip, you will ask the exam for the last tip. You will ask the exam for the last tip. You will ask the exam for the last tip. You will ask the exam for the last tip. You will ask the exam for the last tip. उसको चेंज मत करना वो वाला आंसर आपका डेफिनेटली 90 परसेंट सही होगा बिफोर एंडिंग द वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट आई हैव टेकन द कोचिंग एंड आल्सो आई रिकमेंड यू टू टेक द कोचिंग बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल आपके पास बहुत सारी जिंदगी आपके हाथ में होगी सो यू डोंट हैव एनी राइट टू प्ले विद सम लाइफ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मैंने कोचिंग कहां से ली थी आई हैव टेकन माई कोचिंग फ्रॉम वी वाई ए विनोद यादव एविएशन अकेडमी वन ऑफ द बेस्ट अकेडमी फॉर टीजीसी एग्जाम्स And I will rate them five out of five. Because I have taken coaching there, so I can tell about them. 
और मैं किसी और के बारे में नहीं बता सकता बिकॉज आई विल टेक कोचिंग फ्रॉम समवेयर एल्स सो आई रिकमेंड यू गाइज टू टेक अ कोचिंग फ्रॉम एनी वेयर यू वॉन्ट If you want details of VYA, I'll put them in a description box below. In the end, I'll recommend you to cover your syllabus at least three times before your exam. All the best. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.